Guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another Arsenio's ESL podcast. Guys, it's episode number 51, bringing to you, as always, another, 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 another grammar session, baby. Reported speech questions. Guys, this isn't too bad. This isn't too bad. I'm going to break some of these down. <sighs> but you know what? It's very, very easy to identify a, pa- uh, what is it, um... A reported question versus, you know, a direct question. So, basically, it goes like this. I'm going to break this down in microcosm. Listen to me very closely. I have a sentence for you. How often do you go to the cinema? So, how often, it's your question word, do, ox verb, you, subject, go, main verb, and then your prepositional phrase, to the cinema. Prepositional phrase, cinema, object of the preposition, and then the is the article. It's a simple sentence, right? It's what we say all the time. However, listen to me now because I'm going to switch it up into reported speech. So now it's going to be, he asked her. Okay, now of course it could be her or him. We don't know who it is, okay? Because the first question was, how often do you? So we don't know if it's a girl or a boy. So I just put her just because. Now, of course, it could be he asked him, but hey, up to you. So he asked, of course, asked. Now, of course, her and she, they correlate. They're together, right? Went. All right. So if it's present simple, you go to past simple. So that how often do you go to the cinema? It's going to be when. And reported questions. Also, you do not put a question mark at the end. Only here we go. Let's break down another one. Let's see what we got here. Uh, do you prefer reading personal development or horror books? So, do you prefer reading personal development or horror books? Okay. Now, this is all available at thearseniobuckshow.com. Now, with the reported question. He asked her whether, now, you guys are like, okay, how do you use whether? Whether is with a choice. Because there's two choices, personal development or horror. So he asked her whether she preferred, now of course prefer, no I'm sorry, not double up, but we're just going to add the ED at the end. So whether she preferred reading personal development. Okay, so have you seen the the reported question is he wanted to know if she had seen had seen why because it's already present perfect. I'm asking him in the present perfect. Have you seen the Avengers? He said he wanted to know if. Now, of course, we use it, we're using if. Why? Because he's not, he's unsure if she has seen it. If she has seen it, it's a conditional in the future, right? So have you seen the Avengers? He wanted to know if she had seen the Avengers. So guys, let me break down these rules, okay? Rules. We don't use question marks in reported questions. We don't use the auxiliary verb do in reported questions. You can, of course, if it's a direct question. Do you prefer? We don't put the verb before the subject in reported questions. I will. Subject in the question. So, an example. Do you, the verb goes before the subject, right? But in report, it's 
He asked. Ask is a verb. That means the subject is before. All right? So we don't put the verb before the subject in reported questions. We use if or whether in reported questions when there is no question word, meaning if there is no who, no what, no why. All right? So there it is. So now you guys understand. It says, do you prefer reading personal development books? De development books. So that's why I put whether. He asked her whether she... No what? There was no why. You guys are going to be able to read this, of course, on the... As for you guys down there, in regards to if or whether. But you know what? It should say... Yeah, I already wrote that. So, uh, it goes a little something like this. You guys to, of course, be able to complete these sentences. So, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, whatever. Uh, number one, they asked us. His favorite right. Wait, they asked the man. Mm, his favorite writer was. He said Napoleon Hill. Now, you cannot put weather because, of course, there are not two choices. You cannot use if because, of course. Well, you know what? You could use if. Wait, so they asked the man. If, okay, here we go. So they asked the man if his favorite writer was Napoleon Hill. Now, because there was a period after was and we started up a new sentence, we cannot use if. Now, if we combine the two sentences, such as they asked the man if his favorite writer was Napoleon Hill. However, in this sentence, it goes like this. They asked the man hmm, his favorite writer was period he said napoleon hill that's why you cannot use if so if we break this down even more the man what does the man represent would you use who what or when well, who what or which they asked the man which his favorite writer was no they asked the man who his favorite writer was Got it? So, you're going to use a question word, if, or whether. Now, remember, whether you need two choices. Man, if his favorite writer was Napoleon Hill, and he said no. Oh, exactly. There are two separate sentences. Period. He said Napoleon Hill. So, guys, I'm going to have an extra complete. I hope this wasn't too confusing for you guys. I please tune into my blog at thearseniobuckshow.com so you can understand this. So, guys, again, thank you so much for tuning in to another podcast. Your host, Arsenio, as usual, over and out.